I turned 50 July 15th in 2021, and I was pretty miserable. COVID had been present in all of our lives for two years. My job as a teacher was massively affected, and my general outlook on life was pretty down. I also gained a lot of weight. When I eventually got on a scale and saw that I weighed over 300 pounds, I knew that I needed to do something to break free from what I was going through. So I decided to challenge myself to lose 50 pounds the year that I turned 50. I'm not a gym kind of guy. I don't enjoy being there or working out in that way in general. I knew that if I chose to put myself through that, I would probably fail. So I decided to pursue something that I do enjoy, hiking. I had climbed Mount Wachusett a few times in the past, and it is near enough to me that I knew I could go fairly regularly if I wanted to. So I decided to challenge myself to climb the mountain every day from July 15th, 2021 to July 15th, 2022. I also decided to try intermittent fasting. It wasn't easy. I did have some significant setbacks, three months of physical therapy for a tendon that refused to stretch. And even more difficult than that, trying to schedule that block of time for myself every day with two high schoolers and a full-time job. But I can honestly say that it changed my life. I lost more than 50 pounds, but more than that, being in the woods, away from the demands of my life, and alert to the mountain in its world, the silence of the snow in the winter, the rain gathering and cascading under the rocks beneath the trails, the way the beaches on the eastern side of the mountain change to bronze in the fall, and the leaves unfolding, encapsulating the trails in the spring. I saw it all, each change, ever so slightly, every day, and it changed me as well. I came to know myself in a different way. Everything has shifted for me, from my cardiovascular health to my spiritual health. I feel like a newer, more present version of myself. I took a picture at the top of the mountain every time I summited it this year and put them together in this time-lapse video. I hope you enjoy this window from the top of Wachusett and from the 50th year of my life.
sorrow still tonight Light leaves and leaves Leaves leave their hold Come and ride the wind Let it feel cold Flooding burn.